We're here in the Grazia office to talk through 10 tips on how to be in fashion for May. Avoid brown and beige. You might look like a tree. <laughs> Number nine on our chart of coolness is to tote a Joseph cloak. <laughs> tote the maze. Me, me and Rihanna are on the same page for spring. Our first story is going green. It's apple green. It's all over the, the high street. It's actually on the catwalks a lot and people are wearing it head to toe. Mm. Our top tip. Avoid brown and beige. You might look like a tree. <laughs> so our second tip is about Jimmy Choo and their pre-fall collection. Um, they basically designed a collection based around your summer calendar. So there's something for everything, whether you're going to a festival, whether you're going to the races, a wedding. It's pretty cool. Fabulous. Those would be very sexy wedding shoes, I think. They would yeah. not, for, not for the bride. They're red. They're a bit vampy. Uh, our third tip is to go double denim, head to toe, as Hannah's doing. I know it. Me, me and Rihanna are on the same page for spring. Rihanna does it amazingly, obviously popping a bit that of Chanel That look is on. insane. That doesn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, and Miranda Kerr does it so well. It's a real off-duty model look yeah. that's actually quite easy to do. And having a little bit of a rip and a slightly tonal difference, I think that's what cracks it. I'll be doing it. Good. For sure. Glad <laughs> to hear it. So tip number four is a new wave of cocktail flaps, which basically means fancy slippers with sequins, em embellishment, embroidery, bows. Love an evening flap. Yeah. Me too. They're really great in the daytime for shushing up a pair of jeans, but also amazing in the evening if you don't want to break your feet on the dance floor. Yeah. So number five is about this new designer, Vika Gazinskaya. She's a Russian designer, and I remember seeing this in Paris um, last year and it was just incredible. I love the cute cloud prints, so sweet. Tip number six this week is to dress unisex. And the person that's kind of pioneered this is Raph Simmons. He's got this amazing new collection, which is going on Mr. Porter. And so we got our fashion editor, Catherine, and our fashion assistant, Josh, to this is my favourite feature of the week. It's this is so brilliant. <laughs> so they've dressed up in the same things, and then we kind of decided Best. Yeah, it's these incredible floral print pieces, like a like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or a jacket, and they are very versatile. You know, Josh is a snappy dresser; he can wear a double floral and get away with it. No. But Catherine looks great in the same t-shirt with a midi skirt on. Tip number seven for looking on trend this May is to rock a really wide leg trouser. Love. Victoria Beckham's doing it, Lila Sark's doing it. In fact, both of them picked up these particular Chloe ones. They've been very popular, but you can get them all over the place. So there's some from MSGM, which is an Italian brand that we absolutely love. They do the most incredible prints. It's all about making a statement with your pants and then going for a simple top. Do you think top, a think. short person can wear these? With a good heel. Mm. I'll give it a you try. Want You're partial to a few wide trousers. <laughs> yes, and I yeah. am short. Yeah. <laughs> so tip number eight is about cameo beanies. They're by Silver Spoon Attire, and I've been obsessed with this brand since they first launched. And um, they used to be Rihanna's stylist. There's two of them. And they've just got this selection of um, beanie hats with cameos stitched mm. on the front, and now they're doing them in these bright colours. Everybody's wearing beanies out on the street still, even in the summer. I, know. I guarantee you, festival dressing is not going to be the same without a beanie this no. year. Number nine on our chart of coolness is to tote a Joseph coat. <laughs> tote the maze! <laughs> so, Joseph, the incredible fashion brand, has relaunched their handbags. And who better to do it than accessories maestro Katie Hillier? Yeah, and it's um, their first proper collection, isn't it? Yeah, the first full proper collection, and they're so chic. And actually a really good price point now, considering designer handbags are rocketing into the thousands. Yeah. On like a daily basis, it just seems to get more and more expensive. So I have a favorite. I really like this little zebra the across clutch. the body number. Oh. I, no, I think those across the body, um, but you can carry it as a clutch as well, which is nice and versatile. So number 10 is circle bags, which are so cute. Uh, there's, I think kind of the big one was the Chanel one at the show, yeah, the, the hula, hula hoop. hoop. Oh my god, did you see um, Chris Kardashian, um, the mother in Selfridges, with the massive oh, really? circle bag, it's hilarious. Yeah. And she came out with quite a few bags, but she might have actually bought it. Amazing, in a big circle, <laughs> yeah, shopping bag. So there's 10 top tips from the fashion team on how to look good for May. Be sure to check out this week's issue and leave your comments below. It's always nice to have some supermodel beauty tips mm. and in this week's issue we speak to Georgia May Jagger. Hi guys, my name is Natalie Hughes and I run the blog cannedfashion.com. Here's my wardrobe and these are my closet confessions. 
So Hannah, I find myself dressed very girly today. Um, I'd love to know a little bit more about this trend. Yeah, so we've gone uber feminine with your look today, which is something that has been in the catwalk in its truck clothes. So it's a prom special. It is. That explains what we're wearing, basically. I think it's a little, probably. Yeah, we're not just wearing this out on our Friday nights. No. It's no. prom season, and it was one of our favorite times, no? It is. It, it was. <laughs> I had a prom, he didn't.